Good evening everyone. Fans watch sports to see the impossible happen. Today the UP North Central team made the impossible happen for them to keep their dreams alive. Top of the first inning, Georgetown's first batter, Paige Vandergoot, will sing to left field. Eventually she would also score the game's first run. Top of the third and the defense comes alive for North Central when shortstop Natalie Prophet snatches this ball. The air still 1-0. Top of the fourth now and Skylar Hill sends this one deep to right center. Avery Richmond would tag up and take off from second. She would round third and score giving Georgetown a late 2-0 lead. Still top of the fourth, Gabby Fisher sends this one to short. Natalie Prophet catches another one and doubles the runner at third. It's still 2-0. Bases loaded down the top of the or bottom of the fifth. Caitlin Lammy waits and is walked. That will bring in Allie Ennett for North Central's first run of the game. Georgetown still leads 2-1. Still bottom five. Bases jacked when Natalie Prophet gets a hold of this one to center, but Paige Vandergoot will get the out. Bottom six now, runner on second when Mallory Lease throws down the bunt. The pitcher makes a throwing error, and that would bring around Ellie Miller to tie the game at two all. Next batter is Allie Ennett, and with ice in her veins, she sends this one between first and second. Mallory Lease comes to score to win the game. The comeback kids of North Central UP win this game in walk-off fashion, three to two. Senior Little League soft or Senior Little League Softball Central Regional Tournament in South Bend, Indiana. Escanaba against two-time defending World Series champion from South Bend. This is Katie Ross who sends a long home run to right field in the third inning, tied 2-2. Next, we're in the fourth inning. It's Taylor Gaithier with the solo home run. Escanaba takes a 3-2 lead. It's not over for Gaithier yet. Top of the sixth inning, and she does it again. Here is her second home run. Escanaba now has a 4-2 lead. Bottom of the seventh, we're going to see Clary McEnery with the diving catch at third base. That's going to end the game. Escanaba pulls off a stunner 6-3. Escanaba needs only one more win to advance to the World Series in Delaware. Top of the first here in boys baseball, Midland gets on the board first. A pass ball scores Connor Moe. Midland leads 1-0. Still top of the first, Caden Skinner will get help by an error at second to score Matthew Ware. Midland would lead 2-0. Next batter and another wild pitch scores Jeff Landis, and Midland leads 3-0. Would go up 5-0 in this inning. Bottom of the first now, and Norway is clawing back down 5-1 when Noah Grzynski hits this one over the head of the left fielder to score Ben Snyder and Dalton Hancheck. Norway trailed 5-3. Midland does go on to win this one 20-13. It's a football score. How about Legion Baseball? Marquette Blues defeated Gladstone 5-4, setting up the zone Legion Baseball final between Marquette and Escanaba in Menominee. Top of the first now, bases loaded for Marquette's McKinley Larson, hard grounder that handcuffs the first baseman. Brendan Higby and Hunter Larson would score. Riley Lynch came home on a wild pitch, a quick 3-0 lead for the Blues. We're going to have the same inning now. Sam Leal blasts one to the fence in center field. McKinley Larson would eventually jog to the plate to give Marquette the 4-0 lead. Bottom of the first coming up, Escanaba's Sam Bissell will crank one to the nearly straightaway center field. Riley Lynch tries to make a great catch, but he misses it, comes up empty. Tyler Hardwick would trot to the plate. The Cubs are finally on the board. Next batter will be Brandon Punzel, high hopper up the middle. Bissell dashes home. Punzel later scored on an error. The Cubs would tie the score at four after one full inning. Bottom of the third, tied at five. Escanaba's Logan Lamb would have an innocent fly to shallow left center. You're going to see it right here. Three Blues players converge on it like people sitting near a bonfire, but the ball is dropped. Tyler Skufka was tagging from third. Trevor Bertoni's throw is on the money to catcher Sam, Sam Leo, so that goes down as a fielder's choice. Top of the fourth, Marquette's Riley Lynch smashes a liner that pitcher Alex Slega Somehow catches in less than three tenths of a second, then Slega throws to third for a double play. That ignited the Cubs, and they scored the next 11 runs to win the Zone 5 title 16 to 6. So Escanaba will be the top seed from the UP in the State Legion Tournament next weekend in Escanaba. Have a look at other scores from the UP and 10 11 year old softball. Escanaba loses to Bay County 4 to 2. And 9 and 10 year old baseball, Escanaba defeats West Portage 6 to 5 in St. Clair. Escanaba rallied in the bottom of the second to win on a walk off. Portage Lake was also in action. They beat Tecumseh 4 to 3. And boys 10 and 11 year old baseball from Petoskey, Escanaba falls to Tecumseh 14 to 6. Gladstone is hosting boys 13 to 14 state in game one. White Lake beats North Saginaw Township 10 to 7. Saginaw is out in game two. Sault Ste. Marie beats Taylor 5 to 4. Taylor is eliminated in game four of the afternoon. Sault Ste. Marie goes on to beat White Lake 2 to 1. The battle of the Upers part two is tomorrow morning between Sault Ste. Marie and Norway at 10 a.m. in Gladstone. The winner gets Midland at 1 p.m.